President Yuri Museveni has said that the United Nations is responsible for preserving uh, terrorism in the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, he was yesterday meeting a UN special investigations team led by Dmitry Titov into the circumstances under which the recent uh, killing of Tanzanian soldiers serving under MONUSCO in Congo took place. Mr. Dmitry Titov was until recently the United Nations Assistant Secretary General for the Rule of Law and Security Institutions in the Department of Peacekeeping Operations. He was accompanied, among others, by the UN resident coordinator, Mr. Rosa Malango. At least 14 United Nations peacekeepers were killed in the restive Democratic Republic of Congo last December, in which what was described as the deadliest attack in the organization's recent history. The peacekeepers, who were from the neighboring Tanzania, were killed in North Kivu province. 40 others were wounded, including several critically, according to the reports. Now, DR Congo's huge eastern region has long been racked by violence, but fighting between government soldiers and militia groups, as well as inter-ethnic clashes, has increased significantly. President Museven informed the UN team that Uganda is currently hosting Uganda is currently host to 500,000 Congolese refugees on top of one million others from South Sudan. He informed the visiting UN team that Uganda was assisted by Tanzania during the struggle to remove Eid Amin from power, adding that during the second part of the patri of the protracted people's struggle, Uganda requested Tanzania to empower US, U, sorry, to empower us in clearing the challenge at hand between 1981 and 1986. President Seveni said that if the local groups in Congo and Somalia cannot work with the population to guard their countries, the friendly forces should come in with enough manpower to clean up the affected areas. He noted that if neighboring DR Congo had enough numbers, uh, they would have succeeded in solving the problem. The president observed that DR Congo has a combination of conventional, irregular and terrorist groups on its territory. He further informed the visitors that terrorists kill non-combatants who are soft targets. Mr. Dimitri Ditovo, Titovo commended uh, President Museveni for contributing towards the peace process in Somalia. He said that the UN looked forward to Uganda's assisting them in finding the answers into the killing of the Tanzanian peacekeepers in eastern DRC recently. He observed that the terrorist allied Democratic Forces, ADF, is a common enemy, adding that MONUSCO has got the task of eliminating ADF rebels. Meanwhile, President uh, Yuri Kogtom Seveni has said that unless solar becomes a cheaper alter alternative source of clean energy, Africa and Uganda in particular will have to use nuclear energy to improve the well-being of its people. Uganda has already trained 15 nuclear experts uh, headed by Ms. Sara Namfuna in the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. Now, the president was this afternoon meeting the director general of the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAE, Yukia Amano, at State House in Tebe. The two leaders held high level consultations on activities related to the IAEA technical cooperation program in Uganda ahead of the official commissioning of the Cobalt 60 Cancer Machine at the Cancer Institute in Mulago. The meeting was also attended by Shokat Abdul Razak, the director, TCAF, Division for Africa, in the Department of Technical Cooperation, Uganda's Minister of State for Energy, Engineer Dijang Simon, and the Minister of Health, Dr. Ruth Cheng, among others. The president said even if the cost of solar energy goes down to four cents or even lower in some parts of Africa because of the cloud cover, they may not be able to use solar unless the batteries improve for storage. The director general, Yukia Amano, said as IAEA, they are doing a lot in making nuclear energy for peaceful use and is already supporting Uganda in implementing projects that use nuclear for peaceful purposes for the well-being of the people. Amano said they can also using drones to monitor water levels for pollution for health reasons. He said it is no longer the energy for only developed countries. 
despite it requiring a lot of preparations, it is important that the transfer of technology from IAEA to other countries increases on the welfare of the people. Now, the Minister of State for Energy, Simon Dijanga, said that the current country program framework between Uganda and the International Atomic Energy Agency includes feasibility studies for nuclear power projects, uranium exploration and evaluation, cancer management of food and agriculture, water resources management and strengthening the national nuclear and radiation safety infrastructure. He said they are also in the process of updating and upgrading the nuclear law to include nuclear power in accordance to acceptable international standards.